Did you know there are two parts to your water bill? One is for treating the clean drinking water that comes from your tap. The other is for treating the water that goes down your drain, known as wastewater, before it's returned to the Colorado River. Wastewater often carries food scraps from the garbage disposal, detergent from washing machines, human waste, toilet paper, and more. It requires treatment to keep Austin's rivers, creeks, and streams free of pollution. Unlike drinking water, wastewater is difficult to measure. So how does Austin Water calculate how much you are billed for wastewater? We use a method called wastewater averaging, based on meter readings for the clean water you use. The meter readings are taken over the course of three winter months, known as the wastewater averaging period. They coincide with seasonal low water use, when many households naturally cut back on irrigation, filling pools, washing cars, and other outside water uses. This helps us calculate how much wastewater you send into the sewer. For example, during your wastewater averaging period, you use 4,000 gallons of water in month one, 4,000 gallons in month two, and 5,000 gallons in month three. After adjusting for the number of days in a month, your wastewater average is 4,333 gallons per month. And since your wastewater average is calculated when your water use is typically lowest, you'll receive the best possible fixed monthly wastewater fee. It won't go up, regardless of how much water you use the rest of the year. As the yearly wastewater averaging process begins, remember to do your part and conserve water. Cut back on outside water use during the wastewater averaging period and lock in the best wastewater rate possible. For information about how Austin Water is saving you money through wastewater averaging, a list of conservation tips, or to find your wastewater averaging period, visit austinwater.org.